Maybe I didn't think that all the way through because I have to clean that up. Oh, it's in my hair. And yes, it's Christmas trees. That's all I had. But hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Happy New Year. It is January 1st, 2016. I hope everybody had a safe New Year's Eve and that we are ready to kick 2016 in the butt. I am here for a really, really quick video, and this is basically going to be my natural hair goals for 2016. So if you are interested in seeing what my goals are for the year, please stay tuned. I just wanna thank everybody who has subscribed to my channel, shared a video, liked the video, left a comment. I really appreciate you guys. Um, 2015 was my year of doing things that took me outside of my comfort zone, but I am just, hoping that the videos that I share are really helping you all out because I know how rough it can be when it comes to natural hair and how you can just be tired of it sometimes. So thank you for tuning in. I really appreciate it. Now on to my goals. Um, by the way, this is a perm rod set with orange perm rods on a old twist out. Um, so my natural hair goal, the main goal for 2016 is for me to retain length. Um, I have been natural for a little bit over five years and last year was really a struggle for me. Um, I traveled a ton um, and not so much like flying traveling. I drove a lot so it required me to wash and blow dry my hair a lot and I think I did not retain as much length month to month because of that. So this year I want to get back to the basics. Um, I started about three or four weeks ago actually. Um, with focusing on my diet um after my move things got a little rocky but i want to get back to that so i can start on the inside and it can and, you know it can work its way out um up my water intake i was drinking a gallon of water a day haven't done that since i moved either so i'm gonna try to get back into that um and then exercise want to get my exercise back together um it's been a little rocky since i moved as well trying to get everything together uh, trying to figure out what the best schedule is for me so those three things i'm a firm believer that um what comes out of your body i.e your skin your hair your nails is a you know a complete reflection of what you put in your body so i definitely want to get those together first and i know that's going to help a lot Secondly, I'm trying to do a no heat challenge for the year. I know, I, I, I don't even know if I know what I'm telling myself, but I really would like to try. Um, I blow out my hair quite often um, just to get things done in a quicker manner. So I'm going to try this year to let my hair air dry a lot more and hopefully that'll help with the length rotation as well. Um, so if I do have to blow out my hair, I'm gonna make sure it's on the coolest setting possible on my blow dryer. Um, I don't flat iron my hair that often, so I don't have that issue. I had, didn't really use a curl wand last year either. So um, I shouldn't have those problems, but it's really just the blow dryer because I hate sleeping on wet hair and I do not like styling my hair when it's soaking wet. It just annoys me. So hopefully um, I can make it through the year and I'm really gonna call it no heat challenge. So if you are, down with the no heat challenge for a year go ahead and let me know in the comments below i would love to have some support because it's going to be difficult i would love to have some people to keep me accountable hold me accountable and make sure that i'm not putting heat in my hair for the year so if you're down for the no heat challenge for the year of 2016 please leave a comment down below and also um follow me on my instagram at at va underscore slim 25 and let me know you're down for the challenge. I'm really going to try my hardest and um, I really hope that it helps. Other than that, I really want to stick to the basics. Um, I have a spray bottle that I've used uh, that I put some water, um, some oils and a little bit of my leave-in conditioner because it's a liquid. I mixed it all together and I'm going to use that to kind of, you know, do my hair at night when I'm retwisting or rebraiding or whatever the case may be. And I want to keep my styling very simple. Um, I used perm rods really often last year and making sure that those are really taut to your head and it, it can be a little rough and pull on your edges and your hairline and all that. So I really just want to be gentle and simple with my hair this year. Um, so I'm not really big on length checks or whatnot, but I will try to do some length checks this year, maybe one in the next coming week or so, so I can keep track. 
um, throughout the year 2016 and I will let you guys know what I'm doing I'm gonna try to film a, a nighttime maintenance routine video so you can see what I do at night to get ready and prep my hair before I go to bed um, and so keep you guys posted on how it goes I'm really excited for 2016 I really think this is gonna be an awesome year I hope the same for you I hope it's the best year to date and I am definitely hoping that my hair sees some health changes I will also try to film um, how I trim my uh, ends video if you stayed and watched this video thank you so much if you are down for the no heat challenge once again leave a comment down below or find me on instagram i will link that below as well thank you again for tuning into my channel and if you have any natural hair goals don't be afraid to leave them down below i would love to know what they are for the year 2016 and i am ready to have tons of videos for you guys if you have anything specific that you're looking for um let me know and i will see you all in my next video but seriously, I, there's confetti everywhere and it's really Christmas trees because that was all I had. <laughs>